Right, so on the mock, a lot of people got these circle questions wrong. Um, so we're going to practice some problem solving, and particularly mixed problem solving, working area and circumference. Right, as a reminder, to find the area of a circle, it's pi r squared. So that is pi times by 6 squared in this case, which would be 36 pi centimetres squared. To find, the uh, to, to find the circumference, which is, could be called the perimeter as well, it'd be pi times by diameter. And in this case, the radius is 6, so the diameter is 12, so it's 12 times by pi, which is 12 pi, and it's centimetres because it's a length. Now, moving down to P1, which is where you're going to start your work today, we're going to miss all the fluence and go straight to P1. We're going to work out the area of this shaded section here. The way we do that is we work out the area of the big circle, which is everything on that shape. So that would be pi times by 5 squared, because the diameter of that big shape is 10. So that's 25 pi. And then we take away the smaller circle, which is pi times by 3 squared, which would be 9 pi in this case. Um, and then we take away the two um, areas we've worked out there. So 25 pi, take away 9 pi, leaves us with... Um, 16 pi and that is centimeters squared or whatever you've rounded to but it's centimeters squared it's area now when you move on to p2 you've got where well, you look at the perimeter of a shape now the perimeter of a shape is the outside so we've got this bit here we've got this bit here we've got this bit here which is three lots of nine so that would be nine plus nine plus nine which is 27 centimeters now, we've also got this section here, which is badly drawn, but it's a semicircle. And we can see the, semi, the circle, the semicircle, has a, has a diameter of 9 centimetres. So if I'm working out the perimeter of just that yellow bit, I'm going to do circumference equal to pi times by diameter, which is pi times by 9, which is 9 pi. But that would be for the full circle. This is a semicircle, so we need to divide that by 2. So it'd be 9 pi divided by 2, which would be 4.5 pi. And then we add it to the 27. So it'd be 27 plus 4.5 pi. Um, and that equals, if we put it into a calculator, 27 plus 4.5 pi gives us 41.14 centimetres to two decimal places. Now, P3, when you move on to P3, it starts using a mixture of area and circumference you have to pick out. That's where you highlight the keywords. These become very important. And P4, again, the same, mixed problems with area and circumference. So make sure you're highlighting the keywords, the answers are provided. Get stuck into it. I'll be online to answer any questions.